a little bit of background, and then the entire movie, Suicide Fleet, uninterrupted. Paramount had signed Ginger to a seven-year contract so she could play an excellent part, Puff Randolph, in her first movie, Young Man of Manhattan, 1930. Then her roles diminished. They just did not have many standout roles for her particular skills. So she begged out of her contract and moved to Hollywood to do a movie for RKO. Ginger had what I consider her breakout role in her sixth movie, The Tip-Off, playing Babyface for RKO. It was part of a three-movie deal, and, once again, after Ginger shines in the part, now RKO does not have that special kind of role. In the next two movies for RKO, she plays the star's love interest, and the motivation for the plot, while not having much of an actual part herself. In Suicide Fleet, Ginger's seventh movie, Ginger plays Sally, who runs a taffy stand in Coney Island. It is the story of three friends, two vendors and a tour bus driver, all competing for Ginger's affection. Ginger is again with Robert Armstrong, who she had done so well with in her previous movie, The Tip-Off. Armstrong is an accomplished lead or supporting actor in over 160 movies and then on television. He is most famous for his lead role in King Kong. William Boyd had been huge in the silence, but his career crashed when sound was introduced. Soon enough, he would become Hopalong Cassidy, a successful series of 66 movies and a mainstay on early television. James Gleason is the consummate Hollywood character actor, eventually being nominated for an Oscar Best Supporting Actor. But he was also a successful Broadway and Hollywood writer, director, and producer. Chance that we are well started on our way. I'm gonna show you now the famous little village of New York, otherwise known as Manhattan. And now, ladies and gents, you're on that famous street known as Broadway, Times Square, with the Times building directly in the background. And now, ladies and gents, the Walmart building. 753 feet high, they say. Built on a tin dime. Now, ladies and gents, we are crossing Brooklyn Bridge, made famous by Steve Cody. Manhattan directly in the background. And ahead of you, Coney Island. Luna Park on the right. Luna Park, Coney Island. Famous playground of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will stop for one hour to permit you to enjoy the novel and unusual entertainment features of this park of pleasure. And that the least of its famous attractions is Sally's Salt Water Cafe. Dream kisses, dream kisses, only a dime. Dream kisses, dream kisses, have a good time. Red and blue and yellow, color for each fella. Cream kisses, cream kisses, only a dime. Cream kisses, right this way, folks. The best kisses in Coney Island. Hello, man. Hi, you geek. Hi, 
with us. Oh, fair for early in the season. Pretty weather we're having, ain't it? It's always pretty when you're around, Sally. Save that for your lady passengers. Ah, uh, which one? That blonde that made four trips to us. Oh, you noticed that, huh? I didn't, but Baltimore and Dutch did. They would. Okay, you win. I quit. <clears throat> Where'd you buy them? Buy them nothing. The company give them to me. And what's more, Sally, look, it won't be long now before I own the half of that bus company. I'm Sally the Dutch I don't want to be able to. I'm so tired of hearing him run off the mouth, I just started hushing him up. Hey, don't you never do nothing but talk to Sally? That's all I ever see him do when he's down here. When I'm down here is right. And how often is that? Twice a day, for an hour at a time. And you guys are here all the time. You should bellyache to me about talking to Sally. Yeah, how many times you take her up to Manhattan in that sap sea down here? Yeah. And how many pictures have you made of her? Yeah. Uh, well, what about all these shooting lessons you're giving her if it comes to that? Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Oh, that's different. Yeah. 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 Right. What kind of shooting lessons are you with your photographs? Oh, my God. What's all of them up there? 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 Oh, we can, huh? No. All right. How's it for us to go over and leave it to Sally? Come on. Uh, you yeah, have this one. You want to go on? You're not. not. Excuse me. When you play over here, Sally, you got to settle something. You guys put your face. Out of here, all of you. You're interrupting trade. You know, it's this early in the season. We need every nickel we can get. But this is serious. So's my business. Go on, Dutch. Back to your coat. Oh. And as for you, Skates, you better warm that megaphone of yours up elsewhere. Cream kisses, cream kisses, only a dime. And it's for you, sharpshooter. Back to your arsenal. Come on, Foghorn. Bring the large bigger in a new camp and I'll mug you. Okay. Matter getting sore? No, I ain't sore. Got your feelings hurt, huh? You ought to be tougher like Dutch and Skeets. You couldn't hurt their feelings. But you could. What do you mean by that? Well, they're both crazy about you. Oh, and you're not, huh? Well, I didn't say that. Oh, then you are. And I didn't say that either. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. All the way back. Come on, come on. All right. No, no. Hold your chin up high. Why? Don't move. Hold that pose. Now, smile. And hey, what's the secret about them things? What secret? What things? What are you guys always hiding behind them black boards? Oh, shut up and keep still. Hey, you know, I'm getting pretty sick of seeing all these pictures of Sally around here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You're getting pretty sick of seeing all the photographs of Sally around here, huh? I'm gonna tell her that one. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. You're just trying to make something out of it. I don't have to make nothing out of it. You said it, and she's gonna hear about it. Ah, go on, wake up, Brownie. <laughs> Now take your hat off and put your money in, I'll take another one. And sit up straight. Now bring your head a little bit more to the left. This way. I said your head. Now where are you? What are you doing? Hey, what's the matter with you? Are you clowning with me? Look. Can you imagine that dirty cheat cutting in on us like that? Sally, were you ever on a whaling ship? Why, no, why? Well, you certainly sink a deep harpoon, baby. Two him, 
going to say, but everything that goes with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it full. Oh, hello. How are you? Sizzler. All right, all right. Well, how about the hamburger? And I'll have a bottle of beer. Me too. Beer skeet? Jabba. That's a weak cup of tea. <laughs> Much obliged, Mug. Okay. Yeah. Do those gills get a kick out of that? Gee whiz, wouldn't it be swelled on a confession like this? Yeah. But your own bus line. That's what I'm after. And that's what I'm gonna have someday. And that's a very far off, either. Remember what I was telling you, Sally? Yeah, but a nice, dignified business, like photography. With an elegant gallery up Manhattan, on 8th Avenue, maybe. And uh, like I was saying, Sally, you can make all the appointments, huh? Yeah, but you know what I'd like? The great big string of candy stores like Tyler's. What are you so quiet about? Where do I fit in your business? I haven't got any business. I'm just thinking. You know, up to now, I never have done much thinking. I never cared much about where I was, except to go someplace else. But you can't go on forever. If you stay still, it starts you thinking. And if you think, you got to have ambition. And I've been thinking. And what I've been thinking is this. If I could get back down there to... What's all the wishes? Ah, uh, something's going on. Goodbye and packing a gun pretty soon, huh? Do I look dumb? Shake hands with Dutch, sir. He follows all the circus parades. Not me, brother. I got a business to take care of. I'm gonna keep the home fires burning. You guys can go if you wanna. That's ah, all a lot of baloney. Beans and flags. What do you get out of it? Nothing but beans and typhoid. How do you know? I had a grandfather that went once. Don't worry, everybody. You've got a long time to go yet. I got Did you, you make right. it all right? Oh. On your right, ladies and gents. Well, if it ain't no letter long himself, what are you doing up here? Well, I'll tell you. I just, uh, I thought maybe they might, uh, I might run them a bus or something. Yeah? I was thinking maybe some of these mugs would need, uh, passport pictures or something like that. You can have a... Uh-oh. Three shots for a dime, ten cents. A test about eye and hand. Rabbits, ducks, and a flying squirrel. You pay your money and take your choice. And what would a guy like you be doing up here? Well, uh, uh, I was just looking at the posters. Oh, yeah. It's a safe hundred to one shot he come up to one list. <laughs> oh, I was... Hey, listen, with him in the Navy, I'm betting on a Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, men. As I call the names of those already enlisted, you will line up over here. <laughs> well, looks to me like the Germans got this war about one already. <laughs> Clark? Yes, sir. So you've seen service before? Aye, aye, sir. Chief Petty Officer, eh? Aye, aye, sir. 
Very well, Clark, you take charge of these men. Report to the receiving ship at Brooklyn. Aye, aye, sir. With pleasure, sir. That little target pistol you like so well. Thought maybe you'd like to keep it for me. Keep it for you? They ain't they got locks on the doors where you live? Sure, Sally, but you see, I, um, I'm moving. Oh, I see. The old end for the open road, huh? I sort of hoped you'd quit rambling and settle down. Oh, I won't be rambling, Sally. That is, uh, I can promise I'll stick to my new job. Oh, gee, that's swell. What you gonna do? Well, you see, I met Skeets and Dutch, and I'm going over around the East River to uh, sort of be with them. Say, have you gone goofy? What would they be doing around the East River? That's where the Navy Yard is. They've enlisted. In the Navy? You mean... You mean they're going to war? Why, but why didn't they tell? But oh, Dutch and... Oh, now, honey, don't you start worrying about Dutch and Skeets, why, why should they go? Why, why, Dutch was just beginning to get in the money, and, and Skeets was planning to buy a bus of his own one of these days soon. Oh, gee, they were getting somewhere. Yeah, they were. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way, Baltimore. Oh, it's okay, honey. I understand. You're dead right. But I sort of... Well, I... So long, Jen. You just keep that for me, will you? The Navy will buy me a real one. Goodbye, Sally. Baltimore! Baltimore! What's the matter, Sally? He's gone. He's enlisted. And he doesn't understand that I... that I... <laughs> Sally, why I couldn't come. Tell him I'm on duty, will you, pal? Why, certainly, Admiral. Anything you say. That's your service, Commodore. Absolutely. So that's your right thing, it is it? Look, listen, Sally. I ain't got no time to put on no fancy bullet, you understand? But I guess you know how I feel. And us Navy guys, we work fast. Look, how about it, Sally? Can I put a hoop on you? A hoop? Yeah, sure. A ring. A ring that means uh, enlistment for life. Or at least during uh, good behavior. But, Skates, uh, I don't want to get married just now. I. Oh, don't be bashful, Sally. Come on, speak up. We'll have to be interrupted any minute. You mean Baltimore? No, Dutch. He'd have been in now, only he bumped into a blonde in the subway. What do you mean he bumped into a blonde? You shoved me into a manhole when I was blowing me nose and couldn't see. Hello, Sally. Dutch, where's Baltimore? Bo well, I don't know. I guess he's still on the... Hasn't he been to see in the last few days, Sally? No. Oh, well, I guess maybe he didn't get around to you. Oh, no, I guess not. You see, uh, you see, uh... I see, all right. Will you boys listen to what you can tell Mr. Baltimore Clark for me? Tell him I never missed him and, and I never will. And as far as I'm concerned, he's just a, a blank cartridge.
Well, Sally, you can't ever say that we didn't warn you. We certainly did. Oh, forget him, Sally. I want to talk to you private. Yeah, but you ain't got time. Come on, we got to get back to Brooklyn. You was here, Gavin, wasn't you? All right, stay here and get shot for deserting if you want to. These is war times, and the ship sails at 3.30. Well, all right. Sails? What do you mean, sails where? Well, I ain't told us yet, but I think maybe Boy Lynn. Ah, uh, Boy Lynn. Well, uh, well, we got to get going. Yeah. Well, uh, goodbye, Sally. Goodbye, Skeezy. Come on. Dutch. Goodbye. Wait a minute. What about Baltimore? Is he going too? Oh, sure. The captain couldn't get along without him. He's got him down there and running the ship right now. Oh, I see. I see. He, he's on duty. That's why he couldn't come and tell me goodbye. Well, we gotta be shoving off, Sally. We'll tell Baltimore just what you said. We certainly will, Sally. We'll tell him just as soon as we get on the ship. So long, Sally. Uh, he's on a destroyer. But I'm afraid you're in labor, so you might try her. Oh, thanks. I got another handkerchief. I can help you. Inform those two men we don't serve tea until four o'clock this afternoon. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, what's the idea of throwing a fright into us like that? Yeah. You know, you're supposed to clean that gun, not sleep on it. Hey, listen. This gun was a four-inch when we left port. We rubbed it down to two now. Well, rub a couple of more off of it. Clark! Aye, aye, sir. I told you once before to keep these balls coiled properly. We may have to lower those boats in a hurry. These balls have got to flow off smoothly. Aye, aye, sir. Now get to it. Don't let me tell you again. Aye, aye, sir. I don't want to have to tell you again. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Hey. Aye, aye. Hey. That reminds me, the cook is getting a little temperamental. I found some scratches down here on the side of the galley deck house. You birds slide over there and paint them up for him. Oh, listen. Oh, look, we're pals, ain't we? Pal, my ankle. Over the side. Come on. Uh, get going. You 
boys had better put your lifelines on or you're liable to take a long, long swim. Nothing doing, no lifelines. No. And if we drown, you'll get yours. <laughs> yeah, and I hope we do. Because you'll get a general court-martial and I hope they hang you. <laughs> All right, slack away, you guys, and start from the bottom. Can you imagine that shooting Gary Gobb telling us? Yeah. Just who do you pick, you? Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey, what's the matter with you? I forgot. <laughs> Why, you big laughing hyena? I'll come up there and... Yeah, and I'll be right with him. Black out! Yeah. Let me a little careful. What do you think? Oh, Listen, Skeets. The only way for us to get even with that guy is to pull together. Right. Don't say nothing. Let him have the brushes. Come on. <laughs> Let him have it. The lieutenant. Holy. Man overboard. Come on, Abe. Hey. 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 I was going to get in action. Yeah. It's even money. Here's a job we ruined we'll never even work at. I'll take that for ten. Okay, ten. And I'm getting cauliflower ears and putting this thing on and taking it off. <laughs> Turn around, that. Norwegische Flache. Internationales Signal. JA. JA. Schiffsname die Nordland. Fahrt zum Auftauchen. Ja, beide. Alle Freunde. 
Das Kommando. Herr Kapitän, darf ich bitten? Mein lieber alter Freund Schletter, wie geht's denn? Mein lieber alter Freund Holzmann, wie geht's? Fein, danke. Freut mich, dass du endlich da bist. Hast du Befehle für mich bekommen? Jawohl, gerade angekommen. Gut. Und so, Junge, da in dem Kasten habe ich ein Treppchen, das ist einfach... Mm, ah, das ist ja fein. Also alle drei Wochen sehe ich dich dann wieder. Ja, wenn wir nicht vorher schon den Krieg gewonnen haben. <lacht> Na also, auf Kaiser und Reich. Auf Kaiser und Reich. Dammerwetter. Ja, das glaube ich. Willst du noch einen haben? Ja, bitte. <lacht> Trink aber nicht Kamera. Ja, gib mir Reise. Gib mir Reise. Reise. Ja. Reise. Ja. Reise. Wiedersehen, Herr Kamerad. In zwei Wochen bin ich wieder da. Ich werde Sie erwarten. Auf Wiedersehen. Vielen Dank. Alles gut. Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. I find Dutch or Skeet. You got me. Where's the bar? Over there. Vino, huge vino, promo. Thank you, Sucker? Vino. Okay. We might as well go for the works then. Hey, waiter. Where, oui, monsieur? Where's the menu? Good, monsieur. The menu, the menu. Ah, oui. Là-bas, au fond, et à gauche. Uh, let's
let's go places. Let's go. Uh, don't get excited. I just brought you some mail. Mm, officer, you waffle. Never mind. Never mind to you, officer. Don't pay no attention to him. Just take this and go in there and wait for us. And you stick right with her. See, so and so. Thanks. Dutch? Well, if it ain't from Sally. So's mine. Hey, where's yours? I didn't get any. Hey, Paul, let me off. You don't think this little girl is crazy about me, you ought to get a load of this. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, listen to this. Uh, uh, if the Kaiser knew how I long for you, he would end this war so you could come back to your lonesome little Sally. And, uh, and look at this. Ain't that sweet? She sends you regards, Baltimore, though. I don't see nothing in mind for you. Thanks. When you're right to her, tell her I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Well, be seeing you, Admiral. Hey, wait a minute. You guys have got to lay off of this kind of stuff and remember Sally. Well, what about her? Well, she's lonesome and waiting for you, ain't she? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> you know how our sailors is. Sure, I know. That's why I'm watching out for her. That means you, too. Ah, oh, but look here, Baltimore. I don't think I stand much chance at that. Dutch here's got too much, uh, uh personality. Oh, Skeets, now how can you say that? Listen, you two guys have got to behave yourselves and play fair with Sally, or back to the ship you go. Huh? Hey, but now what? Oh, I'll listen. I'll be seeing you. Well, Mr. Herman, would you like to go and take a stroll with me through the museum? Not a bad idea, Mr. O'Reilly. Let's go down and join up with the rest of the dummies. Ah, uh, please, Keats. Always remain a gentleman. Thanks for the wine. It's all Baltimore's fault. He shouldn't not have been such a rush to deliver the mail. A lot of trouble with him is he ain't got no faith in human nature. That's it, too. No. No? Ah, uh, but we got the office. No. Be a pal, will it? Huh? I give you a look. Come on, Skeets. Uh-oh. Uh hey, they're waving at us. Who says there ain't no Santa Claus? Is there any mm -hmm. way we can... Well, don't stop me now. Me neither. Here, here's mine. Here's my two bucks. You first, Mr. Herman. After you, Mr. O'Reilly. Well, what is... in search of a German mystery ship somewhere in the Atlantic. Our report is that she's disguised as a Norwegian tramp ship. Our orders are to capture her, search her for information vital to our Navy. The ship is sighted, I'll ask for volunteers to board her. I take charge, dismiss. Aye, aye, sir. Men, 
Leave your quarters. What's the matter with you? Oh, boy, this needle has been sticking me all through the skipper's speech. Hey, finish this button, will you, Skeets? Uh, what you need is a wife. Uh, can you cook? <laughs> hey, ladies of the U.S. Naval Sewing Circle, Mr. Skeets O'Reilly will now give you a demonstration of some fancy needlework. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> when this war is over, I'll be walking down the street Ladies and little children will look at me and point at the medals upon my breast. Strangers will ask, who is this guy? And they will answer, that is Skeet so royally, hero of the Navy, the guy who won the war. And how? By four hams, three seams, and six drop stitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, next, will you? All right, hold still. Oh, hi, look out for my button. So that's why you were in such a hurry. Wanted to play button, button, huh? Uh, Make that to you. Say, what was the idea of that stampede in front of the commander? And speaking of stampedes, why don't you guys try and keep these quarters clean? What do you think you're shipped on, a cattle boat? <laughs> Well, that's the first time I ever heard you guys talk in your own language. Now get busy and clean this joint up. O'Brien, keep that bunk in ship shape. Bergen, clear that gear off the table. What do you think the mess cook's going to say? You ought to know better than to... You don't know a fellow in the Navy by the name of Baltimore Clark, do you? Baltimore Clark? Yeah. Is he a fellow with blonde hair? Yeah. A big fellow about six feet tall? Yeah. Weighs about 160 pounds? That's him. Well, I don't think we know him, lady. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry, miss. He's most likely a big guy. You know, a nadmal or something. That's the reason that we don't know him. Come on, sailor. Thanks for the candy, miss. <laughs> okay, sailor. Feuer anlegen im Schiff. Herr Kapitän, vergessen, wir haben all das Dynamit an Bord. Vergesse gar nichts. Feuer anlegen. Das ist fair, Herr Kapitän. Kevin, Mund, der Bund, Schiff und Gallenkassel. Mach schnell, Hans! Hark! Feuer, Sir! They are setting her a fire, Sir! Weiter. Get your men ready for a boarding party. We'll board her from the galley deck house, port side. Aye, aye, Sir. And Clark. Get all the information you can. Understand? Aye, aye, sir.
Watch your helm. Watch your helm. Come, General Alarm. Anything on him? Not a thing, sir. You know Norwegian? Yeah, he's been Norwegian. What's your nationality? I see. Wimpy? Yes, sir. Lock these men up. Aye, aye, sir. Giles? Take charge of these men, lock them up in the after deck house. Aye, aye, aye sir. Watch over them. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, you fucking brother. 
Herman here found this Sherman uniform in the captain's cabin. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose they were all Germans. Excuse me, sir, I think there was. You see, in the middle of a fight when I need one of them guys. What do you mean when you need him? Well, I mean, I kicked him right in the... I kicked him right in the... I kicked him right in the shins. He called me, he says, uh, do we dump the gomina zun on his owl? Yes, well, what does that mean in English? Well, that means you dirty low down son of a sow. Well, uh, what did you find, Clark? I found these in the wireless room, sir. That one on top had just come in. Good work, Clark. We'll cable this to the Navy Department for decoding. Keen. Inform the officer of the deck to set a direct course and make all possible speed for Havana. Aye, aye, sir. All right, boys. Hey. Hey, Baltimore, what kind of a town is this Havana? You know, Dutch, that's where the men all smoke big black cigars and every night the women use castanet. Casca... Every night? Oh, you square-headed... Clark, I've selected you for some very important independent duty. You're selected not only because I believe in your ability, but your record shows you've served before the mast and no square riggers. Yes, sir. Well, you're willing to go without knowing what it is? I believe that's the Navy custom, sir. That's the spirit, Clark. Read that. That's from German Naval Headquarters. Yes, sir. We've outfitted a ship that's almost a duplicate of the Nordlin. We want you to sail this decoy ship to the same position the Germans sank theirs. Wait there and see what happens. It's a dangerous mission, Clark. I understand, sir. But, uh, there are a couple of boys I'd like to take with me. They're on the gun crew. If they want to go, we're only calling for volunteers. If you don't mind, sir, I'll volunteer for them. All right, Clark. Thank you. Oh, what time do we leave, sir? Just before sunrise. I'll be at the ship to see you off. Aye, aye, sir. I don't think Clark realizes what he's in for. You come with me, big boy? I'm sorry, baby. I got work to do. Me help you, no? No. Por qué? Si yo te voy a enseñar La Habana, yo te voy a enseñar Hey, buddy, I'm looking for a couple of sailors to destroy a 345. Hey, Chief, I'm looking for three myself off the 110. I'll swap you my three for your two. I wouldn't want to cheat you. Say, where's the most likely place to find? Them? In Havana? <laughs>
Come on, you guys. We're we'll getting moving. These two Romeos are going back to the show. Hey, come on. Wait a minute. Wait, ladies, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Sit down. Oh, I'll raise you. Back on a little boat, put a little sailor boys in a little frontal bed. <laughs> are you two guys going with me or not? Look, I ain't going back for a couple of days. Well, I ain't going back for a couple of days. And that makes four days. <laughs> Listen. Pardon me, uh, Signorita. May I have the body for this next tangle? See, si, see, si, Signor. <laughs> Pardon, Signor. This is our music. Are you ready, Signorita? Why not? <laughs> Are you guys going with me or not? We are not! Well, Clark, it's time to shove off. Aye, aye, sir. Nobody knows what you're up against out there. Maybe just plain suicide. Well, that's part of the job, sir. Your men all here? Aye, aye, sir. Those the two you volunteered for? Uh, yes, sir. You see, they, uh, they thought only one of them could go, um, so they had a fight to see which one it would be. Very commendable of them. Well, boys? You all know what you're in for. You'll take your future orders from Clark. Remember, the entire destroyer force is backing you up. Good luck, Clark. Thank you, sir. Do you mind keeping that for me, sir? All right, Clark. That border! I got stepping!
take your future orders from Clark. Yeah. And did you hear what else the skipper said? I did, and 40 to 1 is right. It's suicide. Suicide? When that pool room hero made us come, it's nothing but murder. That's what it is, Dutch. Murder. With two Ds. No, only one. There's two Ds in murder. One. I guess you all heard what the commander said. We're going out and cruise around where that German ship went down. We're going to wait for their submarines to show up and see if we can't get a line on their maneuvers. We're going to get a hold of their plans and take them back to our Navy. And how are we going to do that? Yeah. Nobody knows. Well, I will run into most anything. But whatever it is, I know you fellas are going to help me see it through. You set a mouthful, baby. You betcha. If we run into a tough spot, we got a gun up there in the forecastle that'll speak for itself. Anybody got anything to say? All right, boys. Back to your post. Charlie. Take the helm. Aye, aye. Baby. Oh, and all slicked up and ready for go. Hey, Dutch, straight four to five that when Baltimore gets his old legal eye on this, he'll make bank shots. Well, say you know, I seem bigger, but never better. Well, can you imagine? Can, can, can you imagine a guy put in the sea with a cap pistol like this? Cap pistol? What do you mean? Why, uh... Oh, uh, he must think we're going out to shoot clay pigeons. Hank, he never thinks so we wouldn't even be out here. Right. <laughs> Dutch, I got a job for you. You're going to be a German captain. I got the uniform right on board. Well, why do you pick me for that? Because you're the only one on board can talk the lingo. I don't talk a word of it. Well, if you feel that way about it. I should have known better to think I could depend on you. Ach, du bist verrückt. What's that mean? You're nuts. What? Nuts! It was a lot of work if us and the Germans was on the same side. Yeah. Keep her headed on the same course, Charlie. Keep that island in sight. All right. If we get any help, that's the direction it'll come from. Now, we've been going around in circles so long, I'm getting dizzy. I want to keep that gun crew up forward drilling. Now, what's the use of wearing out that gun aiming at four walls? Don't worry. You'll have something to aim at. We've been out here now four days and you're... Yeah. Need to... Just waiting around for something to happen is giving me the jumps. Hey, don't give it to you any more than it gives me. Oh, snap out of it, will you, fellas? I know how you feel, boys, but don't let it get you down now. Dutch, get Steve and come on below. Hi, Steve. 
Hey, Mike, stop chewing that guy. That needle's scratching my spine. know what this is? What what is? Wait a minute. Come on, Cookie, we'll show them. Coming up. Come on, boy. Be careful, boy, don't drop it. Merry Christmas. I swear it's Christmas Eve. I forgot all the hey, 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 look at that thing, huh? Merry Christmas. Hey, what do you think of this, boy? Look what Santa Claus from. Now I know where that broom went. Gee, my shirt buttons have been missing. Just like home, ain't it? Yeah, it's so different. All right, Cookie. Come on, fall in, boys. Take it a little easy now. We got to save some of that for the boys on duty. Hey, Cookie, give me that little piece with Christmas on it. You don't want much. I'll take Mary. Look at that chocolate. Oh, I hope it's got raisins in it. Oh, boy. Well, it's never had cake like that. Oh, boy, it's got four layers. What do you think it's Whoa! I want to show you. Boy, that cake's good. Keep that music going. Oh, boy, am I full. I could go for twice that amount. Gee, fellas, remember last Christmas? I was home in my... Oh, shut up. We all remember. <laughs> and the funny part of it is this is liable to be our last Christmas. Das Schiff hält sich, Herr Kapitän. Beide Maschinen, bitte Kraft raus. Beide Maschinen, bitte Kraft raus. Fertig. Die Beschreibungspapiere. Name des Schiffs Nordland. Jawohl. Norwegische Flagge. Schiff. Internationales Signal JA. Richtig. Alles in Ordnung? Jawohl, Herr Kapitän. Warten auftauchen. Warten auftauchen. Fertig. Auftauchen. Oder kann ich halbieren? Oder kann ich halbieren? Ja, ich kann ich halbieren. Ach, du kannst halbieren. Ach, du kannst halbieren. Fertig. Periscope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, you boys stay up there, and if they wave, wave back. All right, gang, up forward. Funny that one shot would not come out of this. I'll take that. Yeah? And you better win it. Now listen, fellas. You all know your post. I want you to keep these Irish pans out of sight as much as you can. Keep busy, and don't any of you open your traps. I think this is the tight spot I was telling you about when we left Havana. I just want to know that I can count on all of you. I'm standing by. Count me in. Me too. Any time, Baltimore. Gabon, my young man. Richie! Both are Superfell! Herr Kapitän! All right, come on, boys. Back to your post and remember what I told you. 
Hey, hey, Baltimore. I just didn't want you to think that one Dutch and me was... Well, uh, I know what you mean, Skeeting. But, come on. Steuerbord Achtung. Ah, Kapitän König, hoffentlich hat er eine gute Reise gehabt. Dutch was right. What do you mean? It has murder with two days. Ain't she got a mean expression? Oh, hey, no. fellas, this ain't no picnic. Take down, you fellas. You want to hear you talking American off a German boat? Yeah, what's the matter with you guys? What's the idea? I know, but they ain't got no brains, the crazy dog. Look, put that uniform on and take him for the Kaiser. How do I look? Is my head square or is my head square? If you was twins, we could shoot crap with you. Is that so? Hey, Dutch. Coming aboard, you stay here and receive will you? Look, Baltimore, let me stay with Dutch, huh? Look, I love German. <laughs> I know how you feel, Skeets, but with that can of yours, you'd better get out in the hole. Uh... Oh, gang? Okay? Here's open. Well, now it's all up to you, pal. I know. Ich blufe schon. What's that mean? Never mind if I ain't right there, let us know. Now you must face it on. And make your mission tower as we are allowed to come. What is it? What is it you want to hear, Kamerad? Eh? Do it. Kakash, do it. Morgen, mein Herr. Morgen. Morgen, Herr Kamerad. Bitte? Bitte, sir. Ich hab gehört, Sie haben famosen Wein an Bord. Jawohl. Mit einem schönen Gartenfrisch. Ich habe Kolossal. Ja, ja. Na, ganz nett eingerichtet hier, wie? Nicht übel, nicht übel, sehr nett. Ja. Kapitän von König. Kapitän Schwarz. Kapitän Holzmann. Haben Sie schon Nachrichten von Kapitän von Schletter von der U200? Nein. Er sollte schon hier sein. Ja. Na, wie steht's mit dem famosen Wein, von dem wir gehört haben? Ja, bitte. Bitte, mein Herr. Schätzen Sie sich. Na, das Oberkommando hat befohlen, Amerika den entscheidenden Schlag zu versetzen. Vor vier Tagen sind acht Truppenschiffe in Begleitung von New York abgewichen. Gut. Gut. Endlich haben wir Gelegenheit, Amerika eins auszuwischen. Dort hat es sich, Herr Kapitän. Meine Maschinen halten Kraft voraus. Meine Maschinen halten Kraft voraus. Klaas op. Chef Klaas op. That's right. It's Moida with three days. I got three aces against us. Haven't you ever seen a four flush beat three aces? If you hold them close enough. Hold on, Slagan. Hold on, Slagan. 
Taylor getting those guns ready. Wenn Sie einen Schuss hören, dann eröffnen Sie Feuer, Herr Oberleutnant. Verstanden? Off of that wireless key. Those subs will blow us right out of the ocean. I'm standing by, sir. You're all right, kid. U-200 von dieser Seite. Und die 170 kommt von hier. Das wird immer schon heftig. Das ist ein Schlötter, sicher. Mr. von Schlötter, freut mich, dich zu sehen. Wie geht's Ihnen denn, Herr von Schlötter? Wo ist Kapitän Holzmann? Ah, mein lieber Herr von Schlötter, hinter Ihnen. Ich bin Holzmann. Kapitän Holzmann. Freut mich. Sehr angenehm. Setzen Sie sich. Und wie wir eben besprochen haben, der Angriff wird von U-200 aus hier eingeleitet. Und von hier greift die 170. Meine Herren, wir sind verraten. Was? Dieses Schiff ist nicht in Nordland und dies ist nicht Kapitän Holzmann. Und er hört. Halt! Von Matthäus weg. Fein habt ihr euch das ja ausgedacht. Paris. I don't know whether you birds understand American or not. But if you don't, this baby will teach it to you. I understand perfectly. Good. Then don't move or I'll drill you. Go ahead. Shoot. Saves me the trouble. Meaning what? I suspected the trap. One pistol shot from this ship and my men opened fire. Will you give the signal or shall I? Danke schön. SOS hell. Tell them the German subs are planning to attack our troop ships that left New York yesterday. Clark, he's calling. We've got them, sir. Approximate point of attack, latitude 41, longitude 45. And when you get that through, you can send your SOS. Great. Signal the division to get underway immediately. 
What are you doing, Sullivan? I want those square heads to get a peek at who they're fighting. Hand up, boy. Send it out. Pass an SOS. Turn to one that don't get here in time. They stopped sending, sir. What have you got? German submarines finding attack. Power. Check. Range 500. Scale 52. at all times. Rich, keep this line open at all times.
Alarm, general alarm. All hands, general quarters. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Around the island. souvenir of the occasion, I refer you to my old buddy, Dutch Clement. Dutch is the best photographer on earth, and he can take your picture just like he took the German. And on your right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Baltimore Clark, the one-man Navy, in his own shooting gallery. Baltimore done a lot of shooting during the war, and now he's the big shot with Sally. Are you kidding? Hoist your anchors. Please like and subscribe.